Well, welcome everybody to the online program on addiction recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And we're talking about uh, this concept of being true to yourself. Uh, as we've mentioned before on the AA chip, this um, symbol of length of sobriety, uh, they put right on there, to thine own self be true. And they borrowed that from Shakespeare. So this whole concept of uh, living your life where you're true to yourself seems to be pretty important uh, for happiness and contentment in life. And one of the barriers to this is that often people actually sort of forget what's important to them. This is uh, particularly obvious with uh, people with addictions where Pretty much it's a guarantee that uh, if you're in active addiction, you're going to be doing a lot of things where you're not true to yourself. You may, it may be very important to you, one of your uh, most important values, for example, to be a good father. Yet somehow in the addiction, you miss your child's birthday or first day at hockey school or something along that line. So you, so you act against uh, what's important to you. And this creates any number of problems and a great deal of distress. But this idea of actually forgetting what's important to you is, uh, it is as remarkable as it sounds, it's fairly common. So people such as uh, Dr. Paul Wong, a psychologist whose work underlies a great deal of the program here at Sunshine Coast, he recommends that everyone develop what he calls a meaning mindset. Right? In other words, be aware all the time of what, what is important to you, right? Be aware of what's going on for you, what makes you feel filled up, what makes you angry, sad, all these, all these various things. But it's, it's important to pay attention to this. And after you do this for a while, then you, you, it becomes second nature, so it becomes habit. But in early recovery, it takes some time to develop this mindset and to pay attention always to what's important to you. And there are any number of ways you can do this. You can do this through the 12-step program, for example. As you all know, there's step four, right? This, uh, this inventory of yourself, right? To pay attention to, you know, what's actually important to you. But you don't need uh, the 12-step program to discover this. Uh, there's some famous books written on, for example, uh, uh, writing morning pages, as they're called. So the author of uh, this book suggests that every morning write three pages on how you're feeling. So the idea of keeping a journal is another common thing. But the idea of uh, practicing, practicing, practicing what's important to you so that you can start paying attention to these things in your daily life. So if honesty is important to you, then to remember to be honest. Right? If being a good father is important to you, then it means you know spending time with your kids and getting this deep emotional connection with them. If doing a good job at work, uh, feeling a sense of accomplishment is important to you, then you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do for a job that's uh, more than just a paycheck. Right? But in order to do all this, you actually have to pay attention to what's going on inside you and what you're feeling and what makes you feel fulfilled and satisfied. Okay. At any rate, this uh, idea from Dr. Wong of being aware of these things constantly, uh, I don't know, put a, uh, put a sign on your refrigerator or on the bathroom mirror says, remember, you know, pay attention to what's important to you. Yeah, anything that will get you into this mindset. And once you've developed it, then it becomes second nature. Anyway, that's it uh, for this program, and we'll be back uh, next time with another one.